Thomas Reiner hier. Thomas Reiner vom Bohrer-Ident, dann Hegler, now Hegler Bohrer-Ident. Ja, experienced guy in laser and technology around. And he will show us retrofitting of additional functions in the building, cover through the use of mobile laser technology. So the stage is yours, Thomas. Okay. Thanks for the introduction, Klaus. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for the possibility to be here to present some things about laser and glass. Uh, but before I start with the topic, um, I will tell you who we are um, and what we do and uh, what's our vision. Yeah. My name is Thomas Reiner. I'm a physicist um, and I'm one of the young men they founded in 2000 the company Boaident. And the vision um, from this young physicist was, okay, to bring the laser technologies in the glass market, especially in the architectural glass market. And this is 20 years ago, and now I can say it was a long and stony way, uh, but we reached some results. One of the results are the laser printing technology to mark glass for the traceability purpose. And the other one is um, that we have the possibility to laser structuring, laser patterning, huge areas for such applications like uh, comfortable calls inside buildings or to protect birds. And nowadays we are, we are very proud, our team, uh, about this um, since 20 years ago. And, uh, but then the moment came um, and uh, my wife said, okay, Again, a bird is killed on our kitchen window. And this was a little bit um, the initial thing to think about it. Okay, um, it's, it, it is the worst that I have to change windows, existing windows to get new functionalities. And uh, my team and we, we speak about and think about, okay, what can we do? Can we retrofit existing windows or facades with new functions? with mobile devices. And uh, I will invite you a little bit on this journey to show you what we have reached, what we have think about it, what is possible or not. And I will show you two examples in a different development sta stage uh, at the end of the presentation. Now I start and um, I will explain a little bit the basis of, on the idea what we have reached uh, in this time um, with laser technology, with a uh, new function for glass products, if the pro glass products will be produced as a new product. Yeah. Then I will a little bit uh, present the thinking about mobile laser technologies and, as I mentioned, show two examples and to summarize my lecture. Okay, starting with laser. In the, in the moment, um, it's possible to make new functions, especially in coatings of, of glass. Yeah? I have here some examples to show you what is possible if you use a laser as a tool in the glass processing company. We can do heated glass, especially triangles. Um, if we structurize coatings, conductive coatings like K or tech coating, uh, in a different way so that we can heat up, heat up the glass yeah? to melt snow maybe uh, and reduce the weight of the snow. We can do some things about bird protection and uh, comfortable cow. I will introduce this a little bit, little bit later. We can add antibacterial function in the surface after the glass is finished. As I mentioned, we can mark the glass with data matrix code for purpose of track and trace, product and process traceability. We can print alarm circuits to the glass without need of any tempering processes. And the new and funny thing is uh, we use low E standard coatings and bring gesture control sensors inside by laser patterning. And uh, we can control the sunlight inside uh, the building by laser patterning of coatings. And as, as well as so fa fancy things like this transparent fence for SUS. All these things are possible by using the laser as a tool and uh, now I will show you uh, a typical machine for this. A typical machine consists of a conveyor system and important in laser safety cabin. And inside this cabin there is the magic. 
There's an XY portal with laser heads up to three, six laser heads inside. And they pattern the coding or pattern the uh, class surface itself. And such a machine can deal with, of course, coded class, uncoded class, tempered or untempered, doesn't matter, laminated class, as well as the final LGU unit. To make some new things happen in the class. And now I will show you a last machine, a uh, huge machine for 9 meter by 3.3 meter maximum class size. It's really a, uh, really a monster machine here. Yeah. And this machine is able uh, to do uh, coating removal as well as modification of the coating. And new, it's the first machine they can print at the class itself. And here you see the head. Um, the head has two lasers in this case, and these tiny th things here are the printing heads. They are able to print glass surfaces. And uh, so it looks like uh, this machine for production, new products, and you see the huge uh, laser safety cabin, and with such a machine you can do different things. It's a multifunctional tool. And um, this was the, the starting point for us, okay? Um, in this uh, production site, it is easy to protect uh, uh, people for, uh, for laser uh, radiation. But what, what can we do in the case of mobile laser technologies? And this was, was the, yeah, the main thing we have to think about it. And um, I will show you a little bit uh, uh, schemata uh, to describe the laser process itself we use. In the most uh, cases, we use a, f a laser source, mostly not visible for the human eye, uh, with high energy. The en energy is stored in pulse. It's a so-called uh, so nanosecond uh, laser with nanosecond pulses. And we focus the beam, the energy, to the coating of the glass to reach the aim, maybe a modification of the coating or uh, removal of the coating. And you see, we use a part of the main part, the main part of the energy to remove, in this example, the coating. But unfortunately, some of this laser energy goes through the unused part, through the glass uh, uh, itself. And some of this energy will be here a little bit scattered. So we have free energy here and free energy there. And as I, mentioned, uh, as I mentioned, the energy of a laser beam is a high energy and uh, unfortunately can damage. It can damage the human eye. This depends on the energy we cho have chosen as well as on the wavelengths. We can hit different places inside the human eye and destroy. Um, uh, and as well as we have not uh, 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 operator there or uh, a people. We have the environment and we can initiate fire and explosion. Yeah. It's all the things we have to think about it. It's easy to protect in a production site where we have a laser safety cabin, it's all safe. Yeah. Okay. Um, so laser safety cabin for the, for the production of new classes and as well, sometimes the operator has to wear special goggles to protect the eyes. Yeah. And now we are thinking about what can we do if we go with a mobile device in the environment, outdoor. Uh, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of nature, there are a lot of things they can um, uh, burning. So the solution is, and that's what we learned for each application, is to think about what is a new innovative laser safety concept to get, in total, a better laser class. Um, the dangerous class is class four, and our aim is to, to, to uh, drop to class one. Yeah. Class one is, uh, yeah, you need no anything special device to, uh, to operate with such a system. Here we uh, think about this, and I will explain a little bit our thinking um, at two examples. Starting with, with the first um, example, 
And this is the uh, example for the better co uh, connectivity inside buildings. Okay, what, what is the background? Um, we have a concrete steel building and we have an um, ITU unit with a low E coating. And the low E coating is a metallic film and uh, all, in all, all in all, it's a Faraday catch, the physicist said. And um, yeah, the communication radiation uh, will be blocked by the low E coating and the metallic housing, of course. And it's very hard to have a call inside such a building. And it's a, a common thing that we know, okay, if we open the low E coating by patterning through laser radiation by laser removal of the coating or modification, it's better if you have a final IGU unit, then it's uh, possible to have a call inside the building. And now I will show you the first case study for a mobile device to do such things in outdoor. Um, before I show you uh, some words about um, the line width of this pattern, it's really hard to see. It's only 50 microns. And um, the visual quality of the low coating and the heat insulating function is still remaining. Yeah. OK, now, here is a small movie of uh, such case study. Uh, we have a machine existing of um, XY portal. Here you can see it. A movable laser head. The laser head has an optics. And um, so it's possible to focus on position one in this uh, case, to modify the low E coating, and have the better functionality regarding communication. In this special concept study, the laser safety uh, things are cons consist in two parts. One part is this local sh shielding we see here. And the other part, it's hard to see, it's in the background of the window. We have a black metal blade shielding um, so that no part of scattered laser radiation or uh, radiation in transmission uh, can hit the, the, um, the inside of the room. And then we can make such fine patterning and uh, the functionality of um, having a good communication inside the buildings. This is um, one thing um, in a uh, status near the product. Um, and we think there are only some things to yeah, redesign. And then we can go with this uh, machine to make such um, laser service. And another example, very common in the, those days, and if you look around uh, GBD, you see it, um, is uh, the thing about the bird protection. And only to summarize uh, why we have this problem, uh, we have the two issues. We have the transmission, the birds think they can fly through. Or they see the uh, reflection of nature inside the facade outside one. And to avoid such a pattern, uh, we have to do something. And there are uh, some possibilities. And one of these possibilities I will show you um, is uh, made by laser. And what, what we do is, um, we add material to the glass surface itself. That's a so-called laser transfer technology. We print ceramic on the glass surface itself on outside one. And we do this in a way that we print dots, five millimeter, nine millimeter in diameter. Um, the dots are so printed in the resolution that you can uh, look through. Uh, this is good for the aesthetics for the humans. And there are three optical uh, properties. Uh, they avoid that the bird hit the facade. One is the absorption, the color. Second is the change in the reflection uh, uh, compares to the glass re surface reflection. And the third one is scattering. That means we print gray, light gray dots. And if the sun is shining, then the dots uh, will be white. Yeah. And this is our approved um, uh, technology we have. And um, <laughs> this was the in initiate um, effect um, that we say, OK, what can we do? in existing uh, facades. And now I will show you an early stage concept, uh, uh, the world first handheld uh, laser printing system um, to prove is, is it possible to do this. 
uh, in respect to the laser safety, and in respect to the handling, and so on and so on. And um, yeah, uh, here's a small movie about um, this um, system. And okay, now we want to see it. It's a handheld system. Here you see it. It's a laser printing system. Here you see the printing head. Uh, the printing tape. The printing head will be pressed against the glass surface itself, and then the laser is free running and transfer the material to the glass surface itself so that we have there the dot. Here you see the final result, dot by dot by dot. Yeah, you can look through um, this, uh, these dots. Yeah, and we do this on, on position one so that we have a high effective on uh, surface one. And for the laser safety here, we, ha we have a concept um, exists of two parts. Um, one is the background shielding, of course. Uh, behind the window, we have to print on the window. And the second one is we have a special printing head. This, the printing head press uh, the uh, printing head, uh, the printing tape against the glass surface by pressured air. And we detect a certain value of this pressured air, and if the if we reach this uh, a certain value, then the laser um, can run through the uh, tape and transfer the material. Okay, you see, to summarize a little bit uh, my my lecture, um, you see it's this principle possible to do something in a mobile uh, way with the laser technologies. But you have to think about it, okay, uh, the safety uh, for the environment and, and the operator. If you solve this problem, then of course you can do it and um, then you ex extend the, the lifespan of um, windows and facades. And this is an important point because if we do so, then the usage of mobile laser technologies can make a significant contribution of nature and the climate protection. And Thank you for your interest, and if you have any question, please ask me.